Hey guys, it's me, Galatella, Firefly Parker's Evil Twin, and welcome to day 25 of October. Now, before we begin, I suppose you're wondering why I'm wearing this kitty cat mask. Well, the reason why I am wearing this mask today is because I'm going to be telling you all about the Halloween mask. Now, the Halloween mask is about this young boy who goes by the name of Lenny. And no, I did not make it up. His name is actually Lenny. And Lenny is a big Halloween freak, like me. Because I'm a goth, so, <laughs> but I digress. And every year, Lenny always has these epic costumes. However, this one particular year, when he was going to a Halloween party, he thought he was going to have the best costume ever, but he didn't. And you're about to find out why. Now, when Halloween of that year came around, Lenny was so excited because he actually bought this scary mask. It was hideous, it was ugly, and he thought that everybody was going to be scared by the mask. So, when Halloween rolled around, he decided to get ready to go to the party. So he put on his black boots, his black coat, his black pants, his high black boots, black gloves, a black cape, and of course, his mask. And he thought that he was going to have the best costume ever. But it did not end. But it did not end up that way. And so yeah. When he arrived at the Halloween party, he saw everybody at his, He saw every one of his friends dressed up as witches, goblins, skeletons, ghosts, probably fairies princesses, vampires, cats, and everything that you can think of. So he, so, he was trying to get everybody's attention and he was trying to get people to notice his mask. However, he, nobody ever noticed his mask or his costume until, and he was very disappointed about that, until this one girl came up to him, tapped him on the shoulder, and asked him, what are you supposed to be? And so, when Lenny tried to respond, he realized that he couldn't, because his mask was way too tight for his face for him to answer. And it was getting hot, and he was getting hot under this mask. So, he decided to go to the kitchen and get some Halloween punch. When he, when he got his Halloween punch, he tried to take off his mask so that he could drink his punch. However, the mask did not come off and he was starting to get really, really hot and he was sweating to death in, his, in this mask. So what did he do? He actually grabbed a knife out of the kitchen, went to the bathroom and started cutting off the mask. However, only only tiny bits of the mask would come off of his face. Now, this is where the story gets scary. Because as he was cutting the mask off, off his face, it began to hurt. Like it was part of his face. So while he was still cutting his mask off, only tiny little bits of the mask came off. And it was hurting so painfully that it was starting to feel like it was part of his face. So, the, while he was doing that, there was a line forming outside of the bathroom. And everybody was wondering, what's he doing in there? Why's he taking so long? So, one of the guests knocked on the door and asked him, what are you doing in there? Why are you taking so long? We have to close the bathroom too. And Lenny was so freaking out that he started shouting, It won't come off of me! It won't come off of my face! The mask won't come off of my face! 
that's when everybody looked at each other confused. Like, huh? What? And this one girl said, a mask? But he wasn't wearing a mask. Oh my god, what a twist, guys. Oh my god, I look so cute in this mask. However, I, however, I wouldn't want it to be stuck on my face. And it would become my face forever, just like Lanny did. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that Halloween story. I feel so sorry for Lenny, though. I mean, he thought that he was going to have the best costume ever. And he loved this mask. That when he put it on, it became stuck and became part of his face forever. Oh my gosh, guys. That is so sad. However, this Halloween, if you are planning on wearing a mask, you better be careful. It doesn't become your face. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this this scary story. Let me know down below if you did, and also too, let me know down below what you want me. And also too, let me know down below what you're gonna be for Halloween this year. And also too, if you want me to answer a question at my Q and A on October twenty eighth or 29th let me know down below if you want me to answer a question and also to subscribe to Firefly Parker's channel actually subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because Firefly Parker would really appreciate it and also to tune in tomorrow for day 26 of October thank you so much for watching I'm Gothitella Firefly Parker's evil twin and I shall see y'all tomorrow Bye!